it says the sum of first n terms of the first AP to the sum of first n terms of the second AP. The ratio has been given to us which is equal to 3n plus 1 divided by 4n plus 5. Okay. The ratios of these are two different arithmetic progression series the ratio has been given to here. Now here we are supposed to find out the first case. What is the sum of first 5 terms of the first series to the sum of first 5 terms of the second series? Take care. Sum of first 5 terms of the second series. Now here we can directly find out put the value 5. So I will get the value that is 3 into 5 plus 1 divided by 4 into 5 plus 5 which is 16 by 25. Okay. Now here if you look at here the value of n is same in both the cases. Now if I take the second case which is S1 5 divided by S2 6. Now remember when you need to find out the ratio of sum of first 5 terms to the sum of first 6 terms we cannot put directly the value of n equal to 5 in numerator and n equal to 7 in the denominator. Never. Uh, why? Because always remember uh, in the beginning we had discussed that the nth term is nothing but that is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and the sum of n terms is nothing but that is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now if you look at your uh, nth term, can you say nth term is a linear equation in n? But if you look at this one, so always remember that the sum of n terms of AP is always a quadratic equation. Take care. And it is a quadratic equation. So remember when I am finding the ratio, take care. This is 3n plus 1 and this is 4n plus 1. Now this is a linear and linear. And always remember that whenever we find the ratio, the common terms will always get cancelled. Okay. So it is quite possible that n and n both are both of them has got cancelled. But here in the previous question the values of n are same but here the values of n are different. So values of n are different so we cannot cancel n and n. So multiply numerator by n and multiply denominator by n to make it quadratic. Okay. Multiply numerator and denominator both by n to make it quadratic. Now we can find out the answer directly. Sum of first n terms, first 5 terms that will be equal to 3 into 5 plus 1 into 5 divided by 4 into 6 plus 5 into 6 and that will give me the value 80 divided by that is 29 into 6 that is it or which is 40 by 87. So this is my answer. So always remember that whenever there are values of n are different okay, and since the sum is quadratic so to make it quadratic you need to multiply in the numerator and denominator always n and then you can apply this you can directly put the value of 5 in the numerator and directly put the value of n equal to 6 in the denominator here. I hope that this is clear now. Now next thing if I say here Try to find out the ratio of T15 divided by T26. Now here the ratio of the sum is given and you are supposed to find out the ratio of the terms. Now the thing is how to find out the ratio of the terms. Now always remember one thing which is important here. If the let us say AP ki koi series given in mere paas. 1, 3, 5, 7. So can I say this fourth term is nothing but the sum of the first four minus sum of the first three. If I subtract the first three terms from the first four terms, I get the fourth term. So always remember, we can say that the T4 is nothing but sum of first four terms minus sum of the first three terms. So T5 is nothing but sum of first five terms minus sum of first four terms. So T6 is nothing but sum of first six terms minus sum of first five terms. So we can apply the same logic here. Now, here we need to find out the T15, so I can say S15 
minus S14 divided by, I can say S26 minus S25. This S26 minus S25. And now we know how to find out the S15, S14. But again, use this logic here. So we can easily find out S15. For S15, I'll put here 5. I get 3 into 5, 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. 16 into 5, which is equal to 80 minus S14. 4 3s are 12. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 4 is 52. Divided by S26. 4 6s are 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. 29 into 6 minus S25, 5 was a 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, 25, 5 is a 125. And this will give me the value of ratio of T152, T26. So, again, the important thing is that if the ratios of sum is given, okay, and we need to, if the values of n are different, multiply numerator and denominator by n and then follow the same procedure. Now let's